today we're going to look at a couple of phone cases that are very different from what I typically cover, and I'm really excited about both of these cases. For the first time ever, I'm actually reviewing a Pataka case. I'm reviewing the Pataka Mag Easy Case 2 for the iPhone 13 Pro Max. But also, I've ordered the later case, which is another air mid fiber case. I've done a video on this over a year ago when later cases first came out. Lou from Unbox Therapy is behind the later cases. Uh, his channel promotes them, he sells them. When they first launched, there was a lot of controversy about plagiarism and things of that nature. Uh, but later cases have continued to be out there, they continue to sell them. There's a new cyber edition that we'll be taking a look at today and we're going to talk about the differences between Pitaka and later case when it comes to ultra thin aramid fiber or what we call Kevlar phone cases. So as I turn over the boxes, a couple things you need to know about each of these cases. So number one, later case comes in at $45. It's 0.6 millimeters ultra thin. It only weighs, the box says 10 grams, their website says 11 grams. So very lightweight, very super thin case. As I said before, you're not gonna get any protection with these cases except for maybe scratch protection. So you are weighing the cost of an ultra thin case, which means when you use your phone, it's gonna almost be like using a naked iPhone versus the need for drop protection. So if you're somebody that drops their phone ever <laughs> or even often then you need to pass on these cases you need something else besides uh, a thin super thin case like this what's funny is both of these cases so i said the uh later case was 0.6 millimeters thin uh, the pataka mag easy case comes in at 1.4 millimeters thin 25.6 grams so it's a little bit thicker uh, a little bit heavier but still super lightweight both of them, though, advertise the uh, one of the unique things about air mid fibers being ultra strong. Later case is saying five times stronger than steel. Pataka has the picture of a bullet on the back of their box, I, I guess meaning that it's using Kevlar or bulletproof material, so super strong in terms of the case. So let's jump into each of these cases and uh, take a close up look and talk about a couple of the unique differences between the two options. So first up, I'm gonna open up the Pataka case, Alternative Tech Life, Pataka, let me set this to the side. It's a nice, you know, nice quality box here. Now, I forgot to mention earlier that the Pataka case is $60, later case is $45. These are not cheap cases that we're talking about, so not only are you giving up drop protection by going with one of these cases, but also you're paying a pretty penny. You're paying quite a bit to get these cases, so just keep that in mind. There's some removal instructions here on how to put the case on and off your phone. Got a little bit of paperwork in the box. Set that to the side, and then we take out the case itself. So you can already tell, super paper thin, very lightweight case. You can see the beautiful carbon fiber look. If that's something you're into, then you're really gonna like these cases. You do get a little bit of a branding hit down here with the very light. You can barely even notice it with the Pataka logo. On the inside, can see where there's the MagSafe ring marked. So there is a magnet built on the inside of this case. And one of the interesting things is uh, it does make this case slightly thicker than compared to the later case. Now later case does not have a magnet on the inside. So we're gonna talk about is the later case MagSafe or not. Um, and then you have your camera cutout here. Uh, the other thing to note for both of these cases, you're gonna get cutouts instead of buttons uh, because they are so thin. So you'll have access directly to the buttons as well as the top and the bottom of your phone will also be exposed uh, with both of these cases. So let's take a look at later case. All right, so later case, the inside, no paperwork. You do get a little bit of foam padding here. 
with the later case uh, Twitter handle and a couple of social icons designed there. And then here is the later case. Now on the outside of the case, no branding. So no branding on the outside of this case. One thing you can already tell that is different is the camera cutout. The cyber edition of later case, they actually, uh, instead of cutting out in just one hole for the camera module to fit through, they actually uh, go in and do individual cutouts for each lens, which actually provides some additional protection for your camera lens area. Uh, super thin on the inside, you do get a small branding hit with the later case logo. But if you notice, I mean, very thin, it's like paper. Uh, no magnetic ring on the inside of later case. It is not, there is not a magnet in here. And because of that, the later case is, I think twice as thinner as, than the, or twice as thin as the Pataka case. But regardless, when you talk about thinness, both cases are super thin. Let's put on the Pataka case here and take a quick look around. See what it looks like with the phone on. All right, the case is on. So here is the camera cut out. So you can see where there is a nice lip around your camera lenses. You are gonna get good protection uh, for the camera lenses. So that is not an issue at all. Here you can see the power button. As I said before, it is a cutout. So you do see the nice in this case, gold metal of the iPhone showing through. And if I flip that over, you've got the mute rocker, no problem accessing that because you have direct access, the volume up and down button. And then if I slide up to the top of the case, you can see how the corners are covered. However, the top of the case is exposed. Now there is a slight lip. Let me see if I can show you that. There is a slight lip that does come around the top of the phone. And so you are gonna get a little bit of protection. So if you were to drop this and it were to hit, it's probably gonna hit the Pataka case rather than hitting your actual iPhone. There is enough of a little bit of a lip around the top of the phone. And then at the bottom, same thing, a small lip that comes around the edge to give you a little bit of protection, but the rest of it is exposed, which, you know, that's the pro of using a case like this. So if you want to have as much of a real iPhone experience in terms of thinness in your hand, then a case like this is gonna give you that because it is super, super thin. Um, and as I said before, it is MagSafe compatible. If I grab an ESR charger, and you can see that it is charging the device. And also, it's it's on there pretty strong, so it's not gonna it's not gonna come off very easy. Now I can pull it and wedge it off, but it's on there nice and strong. I've also used this with a MagSafe wallet; it works just fine. So in terms of MagSafe compatible with the Pataka case, you're gonna be uh, you're gonna be just fine. One other thing about the Pataka case is you do get a small lip around the front of the phone, and so if you look kind of right in here, you can kind of see that that lip does come up over the edge of the phone. Also, if you look kind of right through here, you can see that as well. So there's two things about that lip that comes up over the phone. Number one is it does add a little bit of protection for your screen. So if you're gonna set this phone down on, the, on its face, you are gonna get a little bit of protection. Now I also use the screen cover, which I recommend that if you don't grab one, you know, the Speak and Easy Fit, I'll leave a link to it down below, is my recommended screen protector. But I definitely use a screen protector, especially using a case like this. However, the other thing you do get to keep in mind that I've noticed personally, because you have this lip around the front of the phone and because this case is so thin, there's kind of a sharp edge there. There's definitely a sharp edge that you notice when you're holding the phone. So, you know, it kind of can kind of cut it. It's not going to cut you, but it can kind of cut into your your skin a little bit. And you feel that sharp edge uh, resting against your palm or your fingers as you're kind of grabbing onto 
the side of the phone. But because of that, you do get a little bit of extra protection for the screen. Now let's take a look at the later case. All right, so here's the later case. Now there are a couple differences here. Uh, number one, I do feel like the cutouts, especially along the top, are a little bit more pronounced. They're cut away a little bit further, so you actually get a little bit less protection. However, you get more exposure to the actual phone. Between the two of these, if I were to say which one gives you the most naked iPhone-like experience, that would be later case. Later case is a much is thinner. It feels thinner in the hand. It feels more like you don't have a phone case on your phone than even the Pataka, the Pataka case. There's a couple reasons why for that. Number one is uh, it is cut away a little bit more on the top and then here's on the bottom. And even on the bottom, if you notice, you don't get any sort of lip coming around the corner of the case. So your bottom is completely exposed except for on each of the corners. And then the other thing is the front. So the front, you don't get as much of a lip either. So you're really not getting any protection. Now, if I didn't have a screen cover in place, you might get a little protection, but you're not really, it's not really coming around the front of the phone almost at all. So you're not really getting any protection for the front of the front screen on your phone. And that's what they intended. They not they did not intend this case to be a protective case. This is really just to put something on your phone so that when you're holding it, it prevents smudges or when you're gonna set it down on its back, you don't have to worry about scratching it. Um, it's really not made to be protective in any way. It's really to be more like a D-brand skin, but as opposed to a skin, you have an actual actual case. And then here is the camera cutouts. So very precise cutouts for the camera lenses. I really like that look. Now that the case does rise above your camera lens, so there's no worry at all in terms of setting it down on its back. You're not gonna scratch up your camera lens unless there's a rock there or something that it hits. You're gonna be just fine. So yeah, so between the two cases, which case have I, which case has been on my phone the most? I would have to say that's definitely later case. Here's why. If I'm going to go um, as thin as, the, as both of these cases are, I just want to go as thin as possible. And really later case is a little bit thinner than the Pataka case. The other thing is uh, because of the thinness of later case, it works just fine in terms of being MagSafe compatible all the way to the point of... I've actually, I actually use my car mount, my MagSafe car mount, going over bumps with later case, even though there's not a magnet built in, it's thin enough that the magnet of the iPhone holds this case onto the car mount just fine. It hasn't fallen off yet. So I really haven't had any issues in terms of MagSafe compatibility with later case. So that combined with thinness, if I'm looking for an ultra thin and lightweight case, the one I'm going with right now is later case. Now I'm about to take this off. I'm gonna spend another week with Pataka. Just wanna give it another try. And if I get enough comments or likes to this video, enough interest, I'll film another video kind of letting you know what are my thoughts after spending another week with the Pataka case compared to later case. You know, I've talked about this a lot, but really what I'm always trying to do is find a balance between a level of protection that I feel is gonna be appropriate for me and a level of thinness uh, in the case that I'm using so that I can have as close to the naked iPhone experience as possible. And I feel like both of these cases, Pataka and later case, do that and they do that well. If you're someone who's concerned about MagSafe, even though this the later cases work just fine for me, your best bet is to go Pataka because there is a magnet built in. If you're someone who's just looking for the thinnest case you can get, then definitely go Later case, the other thing is price. 45 bucks for later case, 60 bucks for Pataka. So if you don't wanna spend $60 on a phone case, then check out later case. Anyways, I hope this helped you in your purchasing decision. If it did, give me a subscribe and you like down below. I will see you in the next video, guys. Thanks, peace.